Hi all, welcome back to the series of SKM32 F407 driver development. As a part of this series, from this video, I am going to start Serial Peripheral Interface. You know, Serial Peripheral Interface is one of the onboard communications that we discussed in the earlier part of this uh, course. And this Serial Peripheral Interface is one of the important uh, synchronous onboard communication that we are using everywhere in the mineral world. So, in this video, I will explain you what, are, what is the SPI and what are the basic things we should know about SPI in order to develop the driver for SPI. Here, the SPI is nothing but Serial Peripheral Interface. Um, and now, let's see what about SPI. It is a synchronous protocol. Synchronous protocol is nothing but wherever you see synchronous in embedded world that indicates clock signal. Whenever you are using clock signals for making communication between two peripherals, then that is called synchronous communication. If you are not using any clock signal between uh, communication, then that is asynchronous communication. Here, SPI is a synchronous communication, which means it uses clock signal for transmission, for transmission of data. And it is a serial communication protocol. What is the meaning of serial communication protocol? Serial communication is nothing but Suppose, let me take one example. This is a transmission device and this is a receiver device. Okay. Here, at the transmitter side, you have 10 bits. Let it be 10 bits. Okay, 10 bits. Now, if you send all these 10 bits at a time, that is nothing but parallel communication. If you transmit these 10 bits bit by bit, first you will send this uh, zeroth position bit and then you will send this first position bit and then you will send the second position bit. If you transmit the bits from transmitter to receiver bit by bit serially, then that is called serial communication protocol. Here SPI is a synchronous as well as serial communication protocol. Okay, And it is mostly used for short distance communication. Short distance is nothing but onboard communication. We know SPI is a onboard communication protocol. In onboard, all the peripherals and all the processors are near only. Okay, that means uh, the distance between every peripheral is shorter. Okay, and one more thing is it typically between a microcontroller and peripherals like sensors and displays. Now, let's see uh, SPI communication type. What type of communication uh, is SPI? Here, it is a full duplex communication. You know what is the meaning of full duplex, half duplex and simplex. Here briefly I will explain you. Briefly I will explain you here. First thing is simplex communication. Simplex communication is nothing but let it be here transmitter, here receiver. Here you can only send in only one direction. That is this device is transmitter, this device is receiver. You can't send the data from receiver to transmitter. Okay. The data transmission path is from only, I mean the data transmission path is only from transmitter to receiver. There is no other data transmission path. Okay, This kind of communication is called simplex communication. And next communication type is half duplex. Half duplex. Half duplex communication is nothing but here also one device is there. This is device 1. This is device 2. Or you can say this is peripheral 1 and peripheral 2. Here one line is connected between these two peripherals. Now you can send the data from D1 to D2 as well as you can send the data from uh, D2 to D1 but not at the same time. Okay, You can send and receive the data but not at the same time. That is called half duplex communication. Now come to full duplex communication. Full duplex. Full duplex is nothing but here also two peripherals are there, that is this is the device 1, let it be device 2. Here between these two peripherals, two lines are connected. One line is dedicated to send the data from D1 to D2 and another line is dedicated to send the data from D2 to D1. So here in this case, you can send and receive the data at a time. So this, uh, this kind of communication protocol is nothing but full duplex communication. Here, our SPI is a full duplex one. That means it can send and receive data at the same time. Okay. Uh, what is the need of full duplex? Here, see, if you send, if you can send and receive the data at the same time, 
that means here the data throughput is increasing throughput is nothing but uh, the amount of data sending at the time that is uh, mainly denoted by the throughput okay and second thing is you know this is a synchronous protocol synchronous is nothing but it uses clock signal it uses a clock signal to sync the data transfer and the next one is it uses master and slave architecture uh, that thing i will discuss later actually the spa communication uses uh, master and slave architecture example if one microcontroller considered as a master and uh, let it be uh, its flash memory is a slave now you can send or receive data from this microcontroller to the flash memory okay now let's see spi uh, sorry sbi bus config how the spi bus is connected from the master to slave i already told you the bus architecture is i mean the spi architecture is master slave architecture here see one de device is a master and another device is a slave you can select any device as a master and any other device as a slave but here uh, this is a multi slave system as well as multi master system but there are some complications while you while you are implementing multiple master thing that i will discuss later here see there are mainly four lines first one is mosi second one is miso third one is serial clock fourth one is ss uh, chip select ss means chip select or uh, you can say slave, slave select ss means slave select cs means chip select both are same only here see what is the meaning of mosi mosi is nothing but master out slave in master out slave in which means if you want to send the data from the master to slave then you have to send the data through this mosi line so the mouse here observe the mosi line is uh, the direction of mosi line is indicated towards slave that means here the data is transmitting from the master to slave and coming to the next one that is miso miso is nothing but a master in slave out master in slave out which is nothing but here the slave is going to send the data to the master that is nothing but a master in slave out here see the direction the direction of the arrow is towards master that means here the data is coming from the slave and going to the master so by using these two lines mosi and uh, miso you can send the data from the master as well as from this sorry you can send data from master to slave as well as from slave to master so that's why i'm calling it as a full duplex communication and the next one is yes clock yes clock is nothing but system clock or serial clock here the serial clock is used to synchronize the data transfer between the master and slave here see the data is transmitting like this bit by bit bit by bit okay because it is a serial communication and this bit by bit data transmission is synchronized based on this s clock that i will uh, explain you in the next video how the data is synchronized with the s clock and the next one is slave select or chip select here actually the spi bus is a multiple slave bus here uh, actually for example i connected a single bus but there may be multiple buses multiple buses in the sense multiple slaves if we connect four or five slaves at the same time then to which slave you want to communicate the first to which slave you want to communicate now how the master decides that decide, that is decided by this slave select pin actually uh, i'll explain you this thing in later because if i tell you this thing now itself you will get confused simply remember the slave select is used to slave uh, is used to select one of the slaves for communication okay now let me see uh, let me explain mosi is nothing but a master out slave in miso is nothing but a master in slave out uh, s clock is nothing but serial clock and ss cs is nothing but either you can call slave select or chip select here see this is how actually the spi communication is there this is the master and this is the slave one this is the slave two this is the slave three okay and i already told you in spi there may be multiple slaves here see for every slave the s clock is slave, same same s clock is delivered to the every slave observe that blue color line every slave the same s clock is delivered and 
this meso and mosi lines also same lines are connected to the every slave but here observe this slave selecting ss1 ss2 ss3 this slave select is dedicated to every slave for each and every slave there is a dedicated slave select line okay that means whenever the number of slaves are increased uh, the number of slave select lines also increases which increases the complexity of the communication protocol here observe the slave select one is the dedicated line for slave one this is a slave one and the slave select two line is dedicated to the slave two and the slave select three line is dedicated to the slave three here i already told you the master has to select one of its slaves for communication how the master selects means if suppose let me explain you right here if suppose here observe all these slave select to pins are act to low pins okay that means these pins will be act to whenever the signal is low which means suppose if you want to select slave one for the communication then you have to make ss1 pin to zero and you have to make all other pins as one got my point actually by default all these slave select pins are one only one is nothing but high high voltage if you want to select a particular slave then you have to make that particular pin as a low low is nothing but you have to connect that particular pin to ground got my point if suppose if you want to uh, if you want to make a communication with the slave two then you have to select the slave two by making ss2 pin to zero zero is nothing but connecting it to ground this is how we can select one of the slaves present in master slave bus configuration okay now let's see some of the advantages and disadvantages of spi here actually spi is very fast communication protocols one of the very fast communication protocols which are available for the embedded systems it is very simple to implement and very fast up to 10 plus mbps here 10 is actually the average speed only you can implement up to 40 mbps based on your microcontroller you can implement up to 40 mbps 40 mbps is a very huge amount of speed in the case of serial communication okay and it is a full duplex full duplex at a time you can send and receive and no need of any addressing unlike i2c in i2c communication we didn't uh, discuss about i2c okay simply i will tell you in i2c communication there is also multiple slaves are there but if you want to select a one slave among all you have to send the address of that slave that uh, address generation is very much complex operation here there is no need of that much complex operations by making uh, simply that uh, the corresponding slave select pin to ground you can select any slave that you want okay those are the advantages of spa and now coming to the limitations those are nothing but that disadvantages here there is no standard for multi master communication here in this picture i shown you single master multiple slaves but by using spi you can implement a multi master configuration also where there will be multiple masters and multiple slaves but there is no standard for the multi master communication okay there is no particular standard that is the issue here and it needs separate slave select line for every slave if suppose if there are four slaves available for the master to communicate you have to you have to connect four slave select pins if there are 10 slaves you have to connect 10 slave select pins remember here whenever the slaves are increasing slave select to pin counts also increasing that increases the complexity of the system that is the disadvantage advantage the last one is more wires are uh, more wires compared to i2c here actually in i2c we use two wires only but uh, in the case of spi in the generic case itself a single master single slave itself we use four lines that is mosi miso slave select and the serial clock that's about the advantages and disadvantages of spi if you understand this video please consider subscribe to our channel and like this video if you have any further doubt let me know in the comment section and if you want to contact me directly i'll give you my all the details including my contact number in the description you can go directly and you can call me and i'm gonna launch a new and exciting course on 
driver development of STM32, which includes uh, GPIO driver development, SPA driver development, uh, I2C driver development, and UART driver development. If you want that course, please contact to me. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.